Hi everyone, welcome back to Machine Learning AI. In this video, we are going to look at web scraping from dynamic web pages. As you know, web scraping from static pages is pretty straightforward. You can use requests to get the HTML page and use beautiful soup to extract any content without any issue. But with dynamic pages in nature, where you have to click some button to see more data in a page or you have to do some request in order to load some content those are the dynamic pages and extracting from those pages using scraping is hard so we are going to solve the problem today with this tutorial So what page I am scraping? I am going to use this Spot Instance Advisor from Amazon AWS where you can see there are few records in this table shown by default. So by default we are seeing 10 records. Now if you want to load all of them you have to click on this button okay let me show in the inspect element how it looks like so this is a button class and when we click on the button it expands the table so we click on this and that's what happens you can see a lot of records are populated in this table and if we want to go back to turn records we can click on this now let's go back to the code and do some scrape so to do that we need some of the packages we need to install we are going to use selenium to interact with the browser and do that click operations automatically from our code itself and extract all the table from that spot instance advisor so I'm installing selenium and I'm also installing chromium chrome driver to interact with the website so execute that cell either by clicking on this play button or control enter or control shift enter so that will run everything and gets you installed with the packages that you require once you have that is done go and import all the required packages so here are all the packages that we need I'm importing OS subprocess system by default and I'm appending the chromium driver to my system path or you know execution path in in Windows we call it as environment variable path so that's one so this is a selenium section so we are importing uh, multiple methods from this library we need a driver we pass options and this is quite interesting feature here <coughs> with the, with this we can click a button without interacting with the website itself we can do that from code that's the beauty of this now so we are importing beautiful soup uh, some other usual packages and we are passing the options so headless no sandbox disable shm usage disable gpu so these are some arguments that we are passing by default and then we are going to start the driver we have downloaded chromium driver and we are starting with the chrome and all these options are passed here once this is done 
you have your driver up and running now I just separated I know importing package to setting up the driver so this is a driver section now let's start the scraping so scraping can be done to get the data for research from social media or from so news websites travel agency website e-commerce websites there are a lot of sources on the web you can get data data from and use for your research so this is to show you how to use this for educational purposes now we we want to scrape from this website so this is your URL copy this and paste in this URL section okay and we actually we actually want to click on this button initially it was 358 so that's what I copied here but it's not necessary but you can keep it so the driver will get the URL and once you have that what we are doing is we are using another method from selenium web driver wait for 10 minutes 10 seconds until we click on this particular css selector now how do you get this css selector in order to get that go here now inspect for this element and once you are here uh, click right click copy and copy select that's it so it will copy this particular link for you and you can paste it then so if I paste it it will be ex it will be the same one I just copied here right so let me remove that and run this cell so I'm giving some extra sleep time just to make sure everything loads properly and then we get that as a HTML right it is done now let's use our usual way of scraping using beautiful soup so we, we are passing our HTML page and we are asking it to parse into soup let's print how does it look like and this is uh, quite complex but can we do better let's use ipython display html to display the content that we just scraped you know this is gonna be surprising see this so the web page is here and if you observe it just has the content that we want the table right so it's so beautiful and now what we are going to do is let's use that information to create a pandas table so extract table using find all method from sue and then use a uh, pandas read html directly and read the table as a data frame and that's a list you want the first element of that list so i'm just fetching that into my final df and if i show you the df it look like this with 358 records and five columns it's pretty nicely formatted so with two csv method from the data frame you can write into csv once the work is done the driver can be closed 
so the browser is shut down so you can't use it right now again if you want you can restart the session and do any web page scraping thank you for watching and if you do like my video please do like share and subscribe